your boy today? Huh? Yeah, you have to simmer down. Okay? You were too stressed last time. Okay, come on, Scout. Come on. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Come on, let's go do your prep work. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, come on. Good boy what's going on youtube and welcome back to my channel if you've been here before thank you for returning if you are new to the channel make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and share this video if you like what you see i know i've been going for a while but i'm back and i will be uploading new videos each week i missed you guys so much i'm sorry i know i've been going for about two weeks but i had a lot going on i was sick for a little bit and then recovering from being sick which was a lot in itself i'm still not all the way there as i'm still struggling with catching my breath i'm a little wheezy and i'm still a little nasally but I'm getting there you guys I'm getting there I also had a lot of changes in my life that all turned out to be really good changes and I mean really good and I'm so excited for y'all to see the changes on my channel make sure y'all tell a friend that knows a friend to tell a friend that knows a friend hey subscribe to Brittany's channel because she has some great content coming and you don't want to miss it because it will benefit everybody and I mean it will benefit everybody thank you all for the continued support I really do appreciate every last one of y'all I love you guys but I'm back y'all don't have to miss another video so let's get straight into this one so as you guys know, if you remember, we always start out the videos with prep work. So I'm going to be doing his paw pads, his nails, and I do believe I do his sanitary. His face, I don't really need to do anything because he's an English Springer Spaniel. This is Scout. I love this guy so much. He's so anxious. Now, his very first time coming to me, because this is his second time, but his very first time, he was so super anxious coming. He stressed out for so much. And this was back before I started recording my videos, but he was so stressed out. And as you guys know, I do have a back injury. So certain dogs I can't do if they are too much for my back. So I explained that to the owners. And, you know, they were very understanding, so super understanding. And I love them. They're so awesome. You know, it's not often that you run into people in life just in general that are just super understanding but they were they understood everything and they even called back a couple months later which is for this appointment here and you know they wanted to know like listen you know we heard what you said and we want to give a shot to some of the recommendations that you offered us because like I said you guys Scout gets really stressed out for grooming and he gets really stressed out for the bath he can stress out for the drying he can get really stressed out just for the haircut in general just for standing on the table so what i told them at that pickup appointment for his first time i was like listen maybe try an all natural cbd oil to see if that kind of helps his nerves because cbd i've seen helps a lot of dogs that have struggles with grooming so if you do have a very high anxious dog that struggles with going to the grooming salon but really likes the groomer try an all natural cbd oil they did that for scout and when i tell you it was life-changing for him it was so life-changing for him when they came to pick him up they asked me like listen you know what does it do for him does it make him lethargic does like what does it do and i said no he was still happy he was still very alert as you can see in the video he's still very happy still very alert but he's just relaxed nothing freaked him out he understood and it also could play a part that he knew who i was i'm the person that groomed him the last time so him coming back to the same person and being on cbd that kind of just settled his nerves he was just he just stood there <laughs> that's what i told him i was like he just he just stood there and the mom was so happy she was like oh my god that's awesome I'm like yeah he was great literally he just he was he was perfect so it, it's it's really good to see results like that where you know the dog wants to be good but he's just genuinely afraid and i don't know his previous groomer i'm sure he wasn't afraid of her because or him whoever he went to because for this company it is a high stress environment because there's always a lot going on there's always multiple dogs there they're barking the dryers are going so it can be a little different for some dogs to adjust there but what would help them is an all natural cbd oil and it definitely helped for scout 
actually how I got Scout as a client is they had just moved to the area so they were looking for a new groomer so they stopped in and just you know kind of went over grooming notes and everything with me I was up at the front working on the computer and they were like listen you know we like him to look a certain way we have this specific haircut you know are you able to do it and I was like yeah sure that's fine I asked him how much he weighed and it was within my weight restriction so I scheduled him with me and they loved the haircut. They absolutely loved it because it was exactly what they had asked for. But of course, after I explained everything, they, you know, they were a little disappointed because I didn't think I would be able to do him again. But once, you know, they thought about it and they were like, well, let's just try the CBD oil. It, it worked out well. It, it worked out well. He was great. I literally had no issues with him. He was perfect. And like I said earlier, I do want to say this again. Scout is a really, really good dog. He's so sweet, so loving, so affectionate. He's just nervous for the process. And like I said, as you can see, the CBD oil, I know I keep saying it, but it just, it works for him. And I was just so amazed to see how he was the very first time versus how he is now. And yeah, he was, he is a great boy, but I will say <laughs> he doesn't like to be left alone inside the kennel, which I inserted a clip of him howling because I thought it was so cute. I'm like, oh my God, he howls. I thought it was so adorable. Wait till y'all see it. It's too funny. Actually, the clip is coming now. <laughs> Just wait. This is, this is too cute. Too cute. Okay, wait, on the table, on the table, little horsey. Come on, stay. I thought that was so adorable. I don't know what it is, but I love it when dogs howl. And some dogs that come in will actually howl with you. I think it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, let's get straight into this haircut. So they like Scout short they like him on the shorter side all over so they get him one length all over and then they get half of his tail shaved which to be honest i recommend that for everybody get half the dog's tail shaved if you don't like it it can always grow back but it keeps that sanitary area clean because when your dog is making a number two it can get messy it can get stuck to the dog's tail fur i know for my dogs at home i keep just the base under that shaved because i don't like to clean up that area i'm just not a fan I, mm -mm. nope not me <laughs> But back to the groom, that was a cotton ball that I took out of his ear. So I put cotton balls in most dogs ears for the bath because I don't like water going down there 
in the ears and if not i try and put a cotton ball and clean out the moisture in the ears if i forget to put a cotton ball but for the most part i put a cotton ball in the ear and you can see deep down in the ear canal when you take the cotton ball out how dirty the ear canal is deep down because we can't reach that as groomers we are trying not to go past a certain point when you are cleaning dogs ears because you can damage the ear canal so for people at home who wants to keep the inner part of the ear clean so your dog doesn't get an ear infection do a nice rinse on the dog's ears do a flush i can put in the description what ear flush that i use for my personal dogs at home that helped him with a yeast ear infection that he had So going back to the haircut, as I stated before, they like Scout on the shorter side. They don't like a pattern on him. For those of you who don't know, English Springer Spaniels do get patterns. It is more like a skirt. Some dogs, it's called furnishings, but I believe for Springer Spaniels, it's called a skirt. And then they also leave their leg hairs pretty long. The furnishings on their legs. Let's not say leg hairs, that's improper. <laughs> But the furnishings on their legs, the hair on their legs, that is left pretty long as well as around their butt area. They don't like that on Scout. I personally, I'm not a fan of the Springer Spaniel show pattern. I feel like it could be a little bit more defined. Like how schnauzers get like eyebrows and different things like that now obviously hair doesn't grow on the springer's faces but i don't know something about the pattern i'm like okay i can take it or leave it i'm not a big springer spaniel pattern fan i love springer spaniels they're gorgeous dogs but the pattern that they're supposed to get i'm not a fan i actually prefer them shaved down like this i think they look like crushed velvet and so cute but to his haircut so i can stop going off on tangents i i missed you guys so they usually get him shaved in a seven, but when the dad dropped off, he said maybe just a little bit longer because it's winter time. So we just did one step up, which is a five. There's not a huge difference, but it does leave a little bit more on the dog where I think it keeps him a little bit warmer than a seven blade. So we did a five blade this time or the five length because I didn't do an actual five blade on him because I feel like it didn't cut right. So as you can see, in the video, I am doing a one guard comb reverse, which is equivalent to a five. It just allows it to lay smoother to the body. So I prefer reverse blades because it looks so much better. Some people like with the grain, I prefer against the grain because it lays so much smoother that the dog, the dog looks so much cleaner when he's done and the haircut just comes out beautiful. Also, Springer Spaniels get a flagged tail. Now, for new groomers who don't know what a flagged tail is, a flagged tail essentially is when the tip of the tail is shorter than the other end of the tail, if that makes sense. So the tip of the tail is scissored tighter to the tail, tail bone, and it gets longer as you get closer to the butt area. Now, like I stated, they get half of his tail shaved and they like his flag tail a little bit on the shorter side, but nevertheless, that is what a flag tail is. Also, not every breed gets a flag tail. One breed that is known for a flag tail is a golden retriever. I want to say most sporting and working dogs whose fur grows that long gets a flag tail groomers if you know correct me in the comments because i am not completely sure on that part but i think i think that's what it is i'm pretty sure most sporting and working dogs get a flag tail Something that I didn't know that I just found out by researching because you all know I love to research. <laughs> I 
I love to research things, but I just found this out that I find is very interesting. So I wanted to share it with y'all. The flag tail means that your dog holds the tail straight up in the air and waves it stiffly back and forth. And they do that when they feel that a threat is coming close to them. The tail movement is his, his or her attempt to make himself look bigger than the opponent to ward off danger. That is so cool. And it's crazy. Like I said, you, you learn new stuff every day, but I thought that's pretty cool. And I don't know what made me research what a flag tail means, but I think that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. So back quickly to the haircut. So on his legs, I'm actually going with the grain because going against the grain with the guard comb was leaving way too much hair on his legs and they like his legs pretty tight because if you have a dog that is a spaniel or a retriever that grows long hair like a golden retriever a flat coated retriever i have a cavalier king charles spaniel the hair on their legs i swear and the hair on their paws and their feet grow the fastest i don't understand it i don't know why but the hair on their legs, their paws, and their feet, oh my gosh, it grows so fast. Like, my dog's body right now, still not super long because I shave him down. But his legs, a mile long. I don't understand it. I don't know how that happened, but it just, it grows so fast. And I actually, I might do this haircut on him because he is an older dog. He doesn't like to be hot and cavaliers are known for heart issues and he was diagnosed with a heart murmur last year i believe in august i believe in august last year he was diagnosed with a heart murmur so for him i like to keep him comfortable i do different things for him and his heart murmur has been steady i do believe it has gone down a lot so i'm gonna go back to the vet and just have them listen to his heart get an opinion on it but he's been pretty healthy. He runs around like a two-year-old. Besides the back injury that he recently had, he's been he's been pretty good. He's been pretty good. But the hair on his legs, super long for no reason at all. <laughs> Just looking at this video and seeing his coat shine and just how smooth his haircut looks he looks really good like look at him he's so happy he's such a sweet dog he's really such a sweet boy he just gets so nervous the poor thing but he's so sweet y'all he's so sweet i love him i really do love scout he's a he's a really good boy So I want to say this real quick. I keep a lot of dogs hooked up to the groomer's helper, not because they're bad or because they try and bite. As you can see, Scout does not do anything. He's, he's a really good dog, but I keep them hooked up to the groomer's helper to keep them in place because dogs like to live life on the edge. <laughs> they love the edge of the table. I don't know what it is, but they like to be right next to the edge of the table or they like to be in the back of the table where their feet can just slip back off the table. So I keep them hooked up to the groomer's helper so I can keep them in place so they don't move, so they don't fall and they don't get injured. And that's really how I stay safe as a groomer. I recommend it for everybody. I mean, unless you have a dog that you know is not going to move, which I have a lot of clients like that where I know they're just gonna stand still until I'm done their haircut. For the most part, I keep dogs hooked up to the groomer's helper because it just helps them stay in place where they can stay safe, they don't get injured. I don't cut them. I don't have to try and reach over the table to grab them so they don't fall off the table. It just, it creates for a safer groom for me. As we're coming up to the end of this groom, I do want to ask you guys, what are some topics that you want me to talk about for dogs in terms of dog health? Maybe some grooming topics that you want me to talk about. 
drop that in the comments this will also let me know if you stuck around this long <laughs> but drop that in the comments and let me know what you would like to discuss in the video because i want y'all to chime in in the comments as well what y'all have questions about what you may have been wondering about let me know in the comments let's chat Also, guys, just kind of piggybacking off of what I was saying earlier when I first started the video, there's going to be a lot of changes, some good changes. I'm still going to have dog grooming videos going up for everybody that is here for dog grooming videos. But like I said before, this channel is strictly about dogs. So everything dogs. So I have a poll on my channel. I want you guys to all go and take drop it in the comments what you think maybe what I should add but take the poll let me know what you guys are thinking about I'm really excited about a lot of the new content that's going to be coming later on I have to get it set up so it won't be coming for a while but this is just me planning ahead for the future I'm so excited about everything that's different in my life it's been such a blessing in disguise it's just I'm just really happy and I can't wait for y'all to see it, but go take the poll. Let me know what you guys think. So now I'm working on the tail and as you can see I am going to be setting the flag tail. I'm going to be trimming it up really nice and neat. Now he has really curly hair on his tail. Most dogs hair lay straight flat. A lot of dogs hair does not but as you can see I'm trying to flag it as best I can because they like his tail nice and, nice and tight. They don't like it too long. So you have to take it like I said pretty tight up at the base of the tail and then scissor downward so it is still a flag tail. One trick I want to tell some of the new groomers if you have a dog that has a frizzy tail because the static in the grooming salon for whatever reason spray it with a little bit of cologne and comb it down and that'll help all of the hairs lay flat and natural so you are able to scissor each hair so you're not scissoring all around the tail if the dog has allergies and you cannot spray it get a little bottle of water spritz that tail and that is the easiest way to neaten the tail very quickly without having to scissor all over the place and scissor hairs that are sticking up here and sticking up there keep a bottle handy trust me it works every time Now I'm going to be doing his ears. So I'm going to brush out his ears and then I believe in this video, I think I kept it in here. I spray the brush or I spray his ears with a little bit of cologne just to kind of get the frizz. I probably didn't leave it in. I think I sprayed the brush, but nevertheless, I sprayed the brush with a little bit of frizz. You don't have to spray the dog, you can spray the brush just to kind of get the frizz down. But the key to getting the straight across blunt cut because they like his ears bluntly cut straight across. They don't like a curved ear. He's a boy dog. I think straight cuts on boy dogs are very, very cute. It makes him look like a boy. But the key to that is to hold the dog's head straight across like he's looking straight and scissor the ear that way. If the dog has the head up, you're going to create a curve. So keep the dog's head straight and scissor the ear straight across. If you have to scissor the back of the ear, don't scissor at angle, scissor downward. That's how you create the straight blunt cut. 
now we're going to be doing a quick flashback look at his before video just to see what it looked like before and now we're going to be looking at his transformation and just like wow he looks so cute oh i'm always so proud of myself for the haircuts that i do because i am very humble and i'm super amazed at the haircuts that i create on dogs and i just love it i love how cutie came out make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button share this video i will catch you guys in the next video love you guys hi scout scout hi hello bud come here scout come here hi. yes are we friends yeah What do you want? Look at Scout. Scout, hi, boy. <laughs>